Now, in our tips and tricks video of the OnePlus Nord, there was one recurring question and that was, is it possible to automatically begin call recording? And secondly, can you get rid of that message which announced that a call recording had begun? Now, the short answer to both of these is no. On the OnePlus Nord with the Google Stock Dialer app, you can't do either of these things. Now, if you search for call recording apps in the Google Play Store, you will find a ton of results. And while most of them do work on the OnePlus Nord, there is a catch and that is you do need to take the call in speakerphone mode in order to capture both sides of the conversation. Now, obviously, this isn't an ideal way to record or even take a call for that matter. However, we did come across one app that managed to do exactly what a lot of you have been requesting, the ability to automatically record a call on the OnePlus Nord without alerting anyone. Hi, I'm Royden and you're watching Gadgets360. And before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also that bell icon so you're the first to know whenever we push out a new video. Cube ACR by Cube Systems is a free app on the Google Play Store which offers a good set of features along with an easy to use interface. Other than phone calls, it also supports the ability to record VOIP calls from WhatsApp, Slack, Telegram and many more apps. Cube ACR lets you exclude certain people from automatic recording, highlight important recordings, choose the playback speed and lets you share the recordings later on. There's also a premium tier which is a subscription-based service which offers Google Drive integration for backups, support for more audio formats, pin lock security and more. Now Cube ACR works fairly well on the OnePlus Nord so I installed it to give it a try and here's what I noticed. Volume, huh. the level of your voice has gone down. Okay. It's not crisp as it was when you have switched it off. Huh. And I can hear my echo again. Now while the app did the job, the clarity of regular voice calls was not the best as a lot of background noise gets amplified quite a bit. However, I was able to make out what was being said in the conversation most of the time, which I think was good enough. In the recording settings, you can try and boost the clarity, but this also amplifies background noise, which is something to keep in mind. It's also best to leave the audio source to the default setting. Now also the caller on the other end did mention that they had minor issues with echo where they were able to hear their own voice repeated although it wasn't a very severe issue and wasn't persistent throughout the call. Now I also noticed that while playing back a recording the volume level of my voice sounded fine but at times the volume level of the caller sounded too low for me to really understand what they were saying. Now for VOIP calls I found it best to change the audio source to voice recognition software to get a decent quality two-way recording. I tried making a WhatsApp call and here the person on the other line didn't have much of an issue with echo. The recording had less background disturbance too when played back, but the caller's voice had a much lower volume level. Hello? Huh, can you hear me? I can hear you now. I can hear you at all. The developer of the app seems to be aware of the audio quality issues and are quite active in replying to user queries based on recent comments on the Google Play Store. So hopefully these issues should be fixed soon. Now, if you need better quality or simply more reliable call recordings, then I think the built-in feature in the Google Dialer app is definitely the best bet. However, if you want your call recordings to begin automatically and for whatever reason you don't want anyone to know that you're recording the conversation, then I think Cube ACR is the best fit for now. If you've tried any other call recording app on the OnePlus Nord that offers similar features to Cube ACR, then let us know in the comments below. And as always, for all things tech, log on to gadgets360.com.